most common type of burn that we see in the pediatric population are the scald burns. 60 to 70 percent of our kids are scalded by some kind of hot liquid at home. Soup, coffee, tea, um, in, most commonly at home it can be at parties and restaurants, and it happens usually in the blink of an eye. And parents think that they should just keep the clothes on because they think that if they remove the clothes, they might actually take off the skin with the clothes. The unfortunate situation is that if it stays in the socks or the diaper or the, uh, whatever is against the skin, it will deepen the injury because it holds the heat. So the clothing needs to be removed. That's very simple to do. And then the next thing is that the burn needs to be cooled. And the cooling happens over a period of 20 minutes in either a room temperature or a little bit cooler than room temperature water. Not cold and no ice whatsoever, as ice can actually make the burn deeper as well. Um, and if you don't have running cool water, you can also just use cool towels and keep the burn covered um, for 20 minutes. So the point of applying cool water for the 20 minutes after your child sustains any kind of burn injury is to stop the burning process. So by doing this, you can actually affect the outcome of this burn. Um, we've had children that come to the hospital and minimal first aid is done, and this burn actually may change in the first couple of days and become a very deep uh, second degree or third degree full thickness burn. Um, in some instances, we can improve the outcome of this burn um, by um, applying appropriate first aid, such as this cool water. And it's symptomatic. If you've ever burned yourself and you put it under cool water, it will immediately lessen the pain and it helps stop the burning. So the result of that simple preventative measure will sometimes allow a burn that may have been very deep to actually not be so deep and it might heal a little bit sooner. So it's simple and it can be done in most homes. Children are very mis mischievous, they're curious, and they want to get into everything. And it's really important that we um, do not leave children unattended around hot beverages, um, cooking, um, around campfires, around hot fireplaces. So it's really important to uh, be uh, monitoring your children in these situations. Uh, when you're cooking, it's really important to turn those pot handles away so the children um, cannot reach them. As children are reaching certain milestones, they can reach that counter, they can reach for that cup of hot coffee or hot tea, and when they see that steam, it's very exciting to them and they want to see what's going on. So it's really important to, um, if you do drink hot, water, um, hot tea, hot coffee, to also keep this in some kind of uh, container where you can put a lid on that's tight and this will prevent your children from being scalded. So when we talk about burns and we talk about burn first aid, we go on the assumption that the, the burns are superficial enough, meaning they haven't burned deep enough into the skin, that they're small enough that we can control the pain of the children, that they're in an area that's easy for them to dress and for the parents to still handle that child. And as long as all of those things are in place, probably they don't need to go running off to the hospital or emergency room at 1 o'clock in the morning and it could be seen over the next 24 or 48 hours. But burn injuries are difficult to tell at the time of the injury how deep they are and our recommendation usually is that at some point over the first 72 hours that they're actually seen by someone who's a little bit more knowledgeable and has experience with burn injuries.